Hello beautiful Libras, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. I'm so happy you've stopped by. This is a four part love reading. The first part is traditional with clarifiers. Part two is your best course of action. Part three is time stamped, all of these are time stamped helps and hindrances that you may wish to know about. And part four, time stamped, is what they love best about you. So let's jump into this le reading Libra and see what this devil energy, which is your overall energy in this reading, what is going on with the devil energy? Page of Swords. So Page of Spor Swords is all about spying on one another. It looks as though both of you are a bit obsessed with one another. Um, the devil is toxic energy, so there may be something toxic about the relationship or about the circumstances. So what else do we need to know about the devil? We have the king of wands. Okay, so you may be dealing with Leo energy. Very proud, very fiery. Uh, you may have Leo energy in your chart, but you have Leo, Leo, two major arcana Leos, and we have the Leo king. We also have the Queen of Wands as your mutual energy in the recent past. So you're really a divine couple. Why, why is it here? The Queen of Wands is all about excitement. It can be the other woman when we have two queens. We have three queens here in this reading. So you may be in a situation where you're not completely free or both of you are not completely free. So Libra, why is the Aries Queen here? Okay. There is a marriage energy. Now that is your mutual energy. So it does speak to the fact that you are acutely aware that there is a marriage situation here, whether it's you or your person. We have the Queen of Swords, Libra Queen. So facing off there. So there may be a situation in which the two of you need to be very strong. Strength card twice. The Four of Swords healing your relationship. So there may be a situation in which you feel like you can't talk to each other. The Four of Swords is usually being, you know, laid out on the coffin in the rider way. You need to heal this energy of the Queen of Wands. Three of Swords, third party situation as I suspected. Now, it can be heartbreak of just missing each other, but take it as it resonates. It's a general reading. It's like a buffet table. Take what's yours and leave the rest. All right, the Queen of Pentacles. Well, you are soulmates. You are nurturing this beautiful relationship and connection the two of you have. You are divinely protected. This is Archangel Raphael protecting this uh, Gemini energy and the relationship. And we have the next clarifier is a magician card, more Gemini and Virgo energy. The Queen of Pentacles says that that's a mommy energy. Both of you are nurturing the relationship. Both of you are protective of the relationship and both of you are manifesting this relationship. The King of Swords is clarifying how your person is looking or viewing the situation. Your person, it, the Two of Swords right now says that your person doesn't want to deal with things. Your person's overwhelmed. They don't really want to talk about things. The King of Swords are trying to be very much in this Aquarius intellectual energy. But Two of Swords is your energy, Libra. You don't feel balanced in this situation, but that's how your person feels. I mean, they don't feel balanced in this situation. So the two of you are not balanced as a couple. Why else do we have the Two of Swords here? What's going on? The Moon card. Your person feels really lost. Your person feels as though they don't know what to do. They are fearful. It's like smoky trails, cloudy nights, not knowing the way forward. Justice card. It really looks as though your person is going to have to make a decision about getting a divorce or getting out of a third party situation. It also looks as though there's a possibility that your third party, if you're in one, again, if um, somebody may have found out about the relationship, a third party situation can also be someone taking care of parents or having to tend to children or not really having the freedom. The third party situation will always involve either responsibilities or a third person in a triangle. All right. The Ace of Swords says that you have great clarity. Your person sees you as a person who's very strong, very independent, very powerful in your own right. They see you as a person who tells the truth. The Death card. Ooh. 
death card. That's pretty intense. So your person sees you as a as someone who will end this relationship if you don't feel as though you can have one with them. The Knight of Wands energy. Your person also sees you as maybe having been a bit of a player. They see you as having been playful, joyful. You know, they do see that you made a small offer to them, but you made no major promises. So your person is feeling very daunted, but they do want to have a relationship and a commitment with you. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles twice. That is an energy the two of you share. You both like to nurture one another. You both like to nurture the relationship. How your person is feeling in their heart space is like they have to move forward without you. The Ace of Coins, they want to make an offer to you. That could even include moving in with you, but it speaks to the fact your person is in turmoil. They want Leo energy, a victory in this situation. They're waiting for the timing to turn in their favor. We have the Wheel of Fortune. They view you as their happy place and the way forward is into the happiness in their life. They definitely want to have a committed relationship with you. They want up to and including marriage. Two of Cups is a traditional marriage card, but it's also a card of great intimacy, great love, being best friends, uh, learning to learning all about each other, but it's about deep levels of intimacy. What else do we have is the way they see things forward. They have chosen you. Your person feels like you are the one for them, Libra. That is Aries energy. The Nine of Cups, they're bored without you. Look at that. They want to have their fun, their happiness, their wish fulfillment, and you're nowhere to be seen here, Libra. It's, they feel lonely when you are not around, when you're not in contact. The hidden energy between the two of you is a high priestess. It could mean that for now you're not speaking to each other given these two energies. So what is this? <laughs> well, we got the main deck that comes in the package. Okay. So what else do we have here? We have temperance. So the two of you are going to work things out. You know, temperance is all about balancing the scales. Libra, you're very familiar with that. That's your energy. It, well, it's Sagittarius energy, but Libra energy is also the scales, the justice card. The two of coins, again, three of swords and the two of coins means that there is someone here juggling two people. And it does look like it's your partner more than you. The eight of swords says, basically what I see, Libra, is you're not willing to deal with it. You really want what you want. And if your person doesn't want to leave, that's okay. You love them to pieces. You know, you're not really trying to force anything. And I like that. That's good balance for the two of you. Spirit is recommending that this should be an equal give and take. Nine of Swords says right now that's impossible, that it's creating sleepless nights for you. Spirit is also recommending that you love unconditionally. And we have the lo unconditional love card right next to it. So the two of you love each other. You love each other wholeheartedly. We definitely get that Queen of Cups energy with the Knight of Pentacles. Being very practical, moving forward very slowly, a day at a time, being very strategic in this relationship. It looks like the two of you are going to work to bring this into union. Uh, I like the energy. Look at that, the star card. That is wishes and hopes and dreams for love coming true as your outcome card. The Nine of Cups is the fairy godfather, the fairy godmother of the Zodiac. Wish fulfillment. Your ships have come in. You already have a deep love with this relationship. And so now we only see questions about how it will proceed forward for you. So we're going to look at the advice from spirit. Let's, what is the advice from spirit? Best course of action for our Libra friends. What is the best course of action for Libra in this relationship reading? See the big picture. Okay, we like that. Seeing the big picture is important, right? Libra, you're good at that. We have Scarab Beetle. Magic works through you. Oh, lovely. We have that magician. We have it right there. We also have Hawk Spirit. 
Let spirit be your guide. So you do need equal give and take. Spirit is saying don't settle for less. And life is speeding up. Woo, good for you. So it really is just giving you a heads up that things are going to start moving very rapidly between you and your person. Let's look and see what the helps and hindrances are in this relationship. Let's see what are the helps and hindrances. We're going to pull three cards. What are the helps and hindrances for our Libra friends? Bright spark. Okay, so both of you just feel very... Your life is so much better with each other, so that's a help. We see the Lady of Joy celebrating life together, laughing, you know, making love, doing all the things that bring happiness. A huge help, right? It's what makes us want to be with someone. And the messenger, ooh, so you have a message coming in. The messenger is going to leave a message that you may that may surprise you a great deal. We see this little bitty character here as messenger steps on the head of this recipient of a message. So let's see what the destiny cards are going to tell you about this. What, what do you have in terms of the helps and hindrances in this situation? Give us clarifiers on the bright spark. We have... Reflect and redirect your energy. Keep a positive attitude. So you have a bright spark. You have a very favorable attitude. And Spirit is saying, don't, you know, just stay in that energy. Don't worry about uh, periods of time in which not a lot is happening. Take shelter. The answers are within. Okay. And what else do we have here for your helps and hindrances advice? We have begun now. Take your first step. Okay, so that energy really says kind of stay the course. You're in the right place. You're in the right space. Let's see what your lover loves best about you, Libra. What does lover your li lover like best about our Libra friends? Okay, we have... They love the fact that you are a person who can make a decision you're not you don't waffle libra sometimes libras are accused of not being able to make a decision but your person feels very much that you're at a crossroads the nine of material speaks to the fact that they see you as empress in waiting they see you as single and ready to mingle very much a person of individual power you don't need anybody you look good you smell good everybody wants you everybody wants you libra the Four of Emotions says that when you do get despondent or you feel upset about this relationship, you still have a tendency to be in a mild sort of mannered um, frame of mind, that you don't get overly anxious about things. We see the Queen of Emotions. A Queen of Cups has appeared three times. One, two, three. So there is so much love here, and your person absolutely adores that about you. The Libra Queen, Justice card, and the Libra Queen say that your person appreciates your ability to look at things in a detached manner and to stay balanced. The Two of Cups has appeared now twice in this reading. The two of you are soulmates. The two of you love to chat. They love the feeling that they have with you. That card is the same as whoops okay i saw it here earlier but anyway we had the two of cups energy so it really speaks to the fact that the two of you are best buddies this is sort of like that game where here it is okay the two of cups the two of cups you have it here twice so it is all about the two of you finding your happiness with each other this relationship is one of best friends lovers you know, people who are on the same page, they love that about you, that you're incredibly nurturing, loving, and emotionally available. What else do we have? Five of Voices. They like the fact that you are in it to win it. They like the fact that you will not really give up on things. The Five of Swords is like always trying to find a way to have a win. The Three of Voices says that even though you are heartbroken right now or feel despondent, 
the fact that you are simply not, you're not breaking up with them, you're not cutting them off. They're very grateful for that energy. They understand that you're having a difficult time. And the Two of Swords, they, they like the fact that you're willing to not pass judgment, Two of Swords, Two of Swords, while they go through the process of trying to find their path to you, trying to find how to uh, break out of whatever obligations they have. So Libra, it's a beautiful reading for you. I hope you liked it. Please leave comments below. Send me where, where are you at in the world watching this? Hope to see you soon in another video, Libra. Thanks so much for stopping by.